I want to give kids an opportunity to be creative. And what that looks like, I have no earthly idea because it's going to be different with every kid. It's going to be different with every class. It's going to be different with every group of students and every cohort or with every content area that actually uses the space because creativity has got a million different definitions. And that's one of the beauties of the makerspace. I'm excited to do projects because the kids love working with their hands. They love producing something that they have to show for it. There's kids that really struggle when they sit and take notes, when they're in a classroom not moving. And those same kids do awesome on projects when they've got something to show for it. Also kids, we have so many kids with learning disabilities or language barriers and they struggle when they're reading or writing but they can still build something to show me that they've learned what we're doing. I hope to discover, to see and inspire new things. Play around with 3D objects, see them being created. I think that will be amazing. I teach physics, aquatic science, and geoscience, and they all have awesome projects that I want to do in Makerspace. Uh, physics has always been project-based. We make all kinds of cool stuff, like this is for catapults, which is 2D motion. Uh, this is a musical instrument that we make when we learn waves. But I'd love to have the makerspace so we can make big catapults instead of tabletop catapults. So my musical instruments don't look like they're scrap wood grabbed from the garden. The idea of the makers movement, I think is an application, is incredible. Uh, knowing that a space where students and teachers can work, to, work together and help each other out, uh, inspire each other, both the student, the student being into the position where the they can say, oh, look, this will work like this. I was like, oh, and seeing that the teacher can like learn something from the student. And it's in a space for only that, it's amazing. For aquatics, we're talking about doing an aquaponics setup, which is what I have going here. This is the table talk aquaponics, but I want to get a whole garden aquaponics going, which would be an entire tub filled with fish to use to grow food for the garden, and it could all be super cross-curricular. I could get um, the music department in on making instruments, I could get engineering in on designing, and I could have culinary eat the food we grow. It represents reform because it's a different way of instructing. It's actually celebrating students and their thought processes as opposed to trying to put them into um, square pegs and round holes. Um, it's allowing them the opportunity to truly create, and creativity takes courage. The students and teachers are going to get excited creating just new stuff, creating objects that before we couldn't do. Firmly believe that we are on the cusp of, of education reform. Um, and, and I felt like we have been on the cusp um, for the last couple of years, and I felt like we've needed to be on the cusp for the last probably 10 years. Um, we're working in a very antiquated system right now, and to me the makerspace represents American public education reform.